I think the reaction to the draw is all about Newcastle, really. You know, their, their return to the Champions League uh, after 21 years out uh, have certainly you know, returned with a bang, really. And in, in what most definitely is the group of death, you know, to get Paris Saint Germain, Dortmund, and AC Milan, you know, three huge teams. Uh, so there's some going to be some fantastic games at St James's Park and some big games away. And, and when the, the fixtures are finally released uh, late Friday or early Saturday morning, there's going to be a real scramble for flights because those Newcastle fans are going to be going to, you know, three, um, you know, brilliant stadiums all in their own way. Uh, so it's going to be really tough for Newcastle. Obviously, they were in pot four, so they always knew it's going to be you know, a tough group. Uh, but I don't think they could have expected it to be this difficult. When Newcastle were, when they, um, when it was announced uh, that they were in that group, there was a sort of a big gasp from everyone in the auditorium. All these former players and Erling Haaland and Pep Guardiola were in here as well to pick up their awards, and everyone could see, um, you know, what, what what a terrific group that is. So that is. Sort of certainly, um, yeah, the, the really intriguing group, but equally, I think you know, all eyes are on group A, and that's Manchester United. And of course, you know, in their group is going to be Bayern Munich, which means um, an early return to England for Harry Kane. Um, I think it was written in the stars, wasn't it, that Kane would up, end up getting a English club, and he certainly has that. Um, of course, it was it was a team that uh, you know many people thought would end up signing Kane. It's certainly a club that I think he was open uh, open to moving to. Even though Daniel Levy was always insistent he didn't want to sell to another Premier League team, so you know that that will be a massive game when Harry Kane uh, faces Manchester United. We've got uh, Wilf Zaha, the Galatasaray. He's going to be coming back to England as well to face United. And Rasmus Hoyland, the new United striker, uh, is going to be facing his former club, FC Copenhagen. So there's lots of intriguing subplots. Uh, I expect Man United to, to get out of that group. Equally, Arsenal, you know, their return to the Champions League for the first time in six years. And I think they'll be quite happy with that draw. They've got PSV Eindhoven. Uh, Lons from France and Sevilla. Uh, I, I, I think you'd expect Arsenal to to more than have enough to get out of that group, and that brings us on to Manchester City, the you know the reigning champions. And um, while uh, I think it was always inevitable that, that Newcastle uh, were going to get a tough draw, uh, I think it's fair to say that although they're obviously a, a brilliant team, at uh, City are sometimes quite fortunate with their draws and I think they'd be very, very happy with this. RB Leipzig, who they thrashed last year, Red Star Belgrade um, and Young Boys, uh, the Swiss team from the city of Bern. Uh, you know, you expect them to probably have, have qualified after four games, maybe even three. Uh, so there'll be no problems for Pep Guardiola there. So uh, yeah, all, all in all, uh, uh, a fascinating Champions League draw.